Bitcoin's not meant to be I send to a bunch of miners who process it and then send uh, to someone else. The way that Bitcoin was meant to be, uh, which I described in the early days, was I send directly to you. I negotiate anything that needs to be kept offline, invoices, other information, exchange keys so that we don't reuse keys. And once I've done that, then you get the transaction like a check and process it. And you watch to make sure that there's no double spend, that it hasn't been spent beforehand, etc. The model should go back to I communicate directly with another party and any costs that need to be negotiated can be. Peer-to-peer -peer has been, like many other terms in Bitcoin and the industry, misappropriated. Peer-to-peer -peer should be machine to machine. No server, no client slave model. So IPv6 is the only way that in the long term we get back to that model, the model the internet was meant to be. The model without the Facebooks and the large data centers owning our data. The model where we communicate company to company, person to person directly. Now this is an important part of the model. I want to see it get past the existing sort of NAT-based central server controlling all these devices model and rather have machines out there that can interact both directly with themselves and the user and like vehicles on a road could start rather than going to a server communicate with each other directly what this enables is the ability to have machines that we don't even know where they are that we can control so for instance i could not have the ip address of my car and yet I could send a message out to the blockchain to an address that is negotiated as a one-time token and then the car monitors that and securely uh, receives access and it could even have a listen-only IP address where there's no way of even sending false information to the, the vehicle so we could actually have a system that is difficult to even find let alone hack. 10 plus years ago, I was still working a lot in the anti-virus, anti-malware industry. And um, the creation of fast flux networks, command and control servers, and hierarchies of these machines uh, that would act basically by broadcasting information on different sites, etc., became very difficult to take down. For instance, um, you would have an encoded value, and until something happened on another site, you may not even know that it had occurred. So the really really well done fast flux command and control servers even 10 years ago became difficult to, um, to create. Sometimes they ended up being found because they were too successful. Conflicker, for instance, um, the problem was that it became too big. It ended up taking over like 30 million machines. And um, when you get to 30 million machines, statistically, you can start doing traffic monitoring and large companies like Microsoft actually got involved and traced all of this. When you're talking about small scale, no way of stopping it at all. If you're doing like you personally own a hundred devices, billions of people out there with the same, then the sheer volume of small transactions like that become uh, statistically impossible to assign to an individual. And you can make that more difficult by constantly updating keys. Scale is the most important thing, which isn't about node count or anything. There's one thing that is scale. How many transactions per second can you do? And the second part is cost. They're talking about lightning being a payment methodology. Lightning costs around a dollar plus or minus. How is a dollar a transaction going to ever be effective? If you have to choose between 25 cents on Visa or a dollar on Lightning, you're not going to use Lightning. It's very simple. The only way this wins is fraction of a cent. And my aim is one thousandth of a cent or less. And we have all this stuff right now about um, people will do spam attacks and dust attacks. Good. They're not attacks. Every one of these pays a miner. My answer is good. If you want to send single Satoshis 50 times a day, back and forwards, 50 times a minute, 50 times a second, good. Attack away, because I don't consider that an attack. That's what the damn network's for.